Good evening, friends. Welcome to the fourth episode of the Bowling Sisters. I have my sister with me. Hey, sister, how are you doing? I'm doing great, sister. How are you? Uh, it's been an exciting. I'm doing of great as well. Yes, football is back, up and running, and today we are we have the Champions League to discuss. The Absolutely. So, what's your take on the draws? We'll go group by group, we'll go group individually. By group. But but yeah, what's what's your take? Interesting Exciting. draw. Not so, yeah. It's been an interesting draw all over, uh, from A to A to H. Mm. It's been an interesting draw. Uh, Mouth-watering cash clashes coming across in the next few months, uh, coming months. So let's see. Let's get into yeah. it. Sure. So let's start with the group A. So it was a it was a group which is now held by the defending champions, Bayern Munich, Atletico de Madrid. FC Salzburg and Lokomotiv Moscow. So, how do you rate this group? I'll rate it out of if you want my if you mind want my opinion out of ten. It's a seven out of ten kind of group uh, with Munchen over there and Atletico de Madrid. Salzburg also plays pretty well. Uh, so uh, I believe it's going to be. Uh, what do you say? Uh, who's going to qualify? Who's going to be into the Europas? Uh, who's going home Let's... early? I, I think I think this this is quite a, a simple group in terms of deciding the top two because yes Salzburg is quite good and also Moscow can spring up a surprise but I think Bayern within in, in its current form and Atletico de Madrid I think it'll be very hard for any of these two sides to leapfrog them so I think the top two would be Bayern Munich and Atletico but I think I, I'm going for a bit of a punt in this one because I might say that Atletico might win this group and Bayern would come uh, uh, runners up in this. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a that's a big big punt you're taking, but I'll go I'll go safe uh, here, uh, and I'll take Munchen uh, one and Atletico de Madrid as number two. Uh, but who goes into Europa? Uh, it's going to be a tough call between Salzburg and Mo- Moscow. Who's, who's Whom do you think? Whom do you think? So it's going it to be a fifty-fifty. The team from uh, Russia. I. It's a tough place to go and play football. It's a tough place, yeah, especially is, November, it December. It's it going is. to be a very very difficult yeah. place if you're going away. And, with, exactly, and exactly. if 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 Corona goes and the crowds are allowed, it is going to be difficult. It's going to be a hell breaking loose difficult. So we have to be very careful when we decide number three. I still I I, I think I'll go safe again in this group Group A. I'll go Salzburg over Moscow. But so you're you're saying yeah. that Salzburg is going to the Europa. Yeah, I think I'll I'll agree I'll agree to that because I think uh, although Moscow is a good good side, but I think it'll be too much tough for them, especially uh, to play against the top two, which we are saying Bayern and Atletico to be the top two, and Salzburg is also not that an easy team. So I think I'll, I'll go with you in that. Correct. Let's quickly move on to the second group now. It it is held by the 13-time Champions League winners, Real Madrid, the perennial favourites of the Champions League, and Shakhtar along with Inter and Gladbach. So. This one, I, I, I rated this, this is tough. this is a tough, this this is is a tough, tough call. This is a tough call. You've got Conte's Inter, you've got uh, Zizou's Madrid, you've got Gladbach, you've got Donetsk. So it's it's yeah. going to be a very very tough call. I believe it's going to be and 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 it's going to be. I I, I think it's going to be Conte's Inter and Zizou's uh, Madrid as one and two. Uh, and uh, what do you think? I think that that's what that's what my number one and two. Even though. Madrid has always been a favorite to lift up the trophy, especially even in their down and the down uh, and they're not playing so well. And especially with Hazard injured for at least another month, you don't know who who comes in and Bale has gone the other way in the transfer. So uh, the team is as is very strong, still strong. And so you are having uh, you are having Inter as the group winner, or Real yes, Madrid? I'm having Inter. I'm I'm having Conte's uh, Inter as the group winner with the Zizou's Madrid as number two. And what about the Europa? You I, putting in it's going to be a tough call. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a really it, tough one. It, 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 it's, it's a very tough call between Ukraine and Germany uh, with Donetsk and uh, Gladbach. I think, yeah. I'll, I, I think I'll go again. I'll go Germany. Um, I, I think Germany, German teams have, uh, um, have established themselves in, in the Champions League and they play pretty well. So I think I'll go with Gladbach over, uh, over Donetsk. Yeah, Shakhtar. I think I'll go there. What about you? What do you think? 
I think I'm not not going what what you just said. I am not going your way because I I personally feel that Real Madrid is is a very much weak inside now. I I really don't rate their chances much, especially in this group. And I think Inter with their squad, people have been saying that it's an aged squad, but it is a very experienced squad. So I would rate Inter to qualify. The second is very tough to decide because I think both Gladbach and Shakhtar they can qualify. Along with Real, so it won't be easy. I think the second uh, uh, spot, according to me, I think it's going to gl- uh, go Gladbach's way. And this is the first time in a long time we might see Real Madrid in the Europa League. But that's what I feel this time around. Because Real Madrid, I've been I've been following their La Liga games, and especially with the strong window, they have not strengthened their squad. Obviously, with the coronavirus financial restrictions on, so it's very tough for the teams to strengthen themselves. But I personally feel that uh, Real Madrid is uh, very much lacking in the front third. They don't have a genuine goal scorer now with Benzema almost aged now, and I don't I really don't think that Real Madrid would have enough in the tank to. Uh, displace or to qualify in the in the next round of uh, round of sixteen. Agreed. Well, so I, I I would I would I would rate Real Madrid to be in the in the Europa Europa uh, competition. And the second one for me, I think it's Gladbach. So you saying so you saying Inter and Gladbach as one and two and to Madrid yeah Madrid going as the Europa way. Yeah. That's that, that's a, I, I, I feel that's a huge yeah. call. That's a huge call. Yeah. I don't know. So what are the, the the people who are going to be watching this video? What are they going to think? But then, nothing against the Madrid fans, but but <laughs> but, but I, I've been seeing I've been seeing the Madrid uh, games of late, and and trust yes. me, I, I always thought that uh, uh, letting go of Gareth Bale it was not a nice decision. Uh, although Gareth Bale is injured most of the times, they might say, but I think Gareth Bale giving away Gareth Bale and not bringing anybody in any. Any any good squad player which can actually perform well for them over a period of say 50 or 60 odd games, which generally Real Madrid is, is expected to do. I feel they have a bit of a weakened squad, and I really don't think that with this group around, it will be very tough to tough for them basically to get a result either in Milan or in Germany. Shakhtar, I'm again not discounting them out because Shakhtar is a perennial, I would say, round of 16 and a and a knockout stage team in the Champions League. But uh, considering the current uh, form and also the current lead, the, the current teams on paper, I, I I actually feel that Real Madrid doesn't have that much good chance in this group. All right, I'll take it. So now we move on to the runners-up uh, of our EPL. Uh, so we've got Group C, we've got uh, FC Porto, we've got uh, Manchester City, we've got Olympiacos and Olympique de Marseille. So, what do you think about this? This is this is another interesting one because in this group, I think the fight for the uh, uh, Europa uh, Europa actually team would be very very tough because uh, you have these three teams: Porto, Olympiacos, and Marseille. And I think all three of them they either can qualify also and they can even finish in the Europa stage. But I would simply give uh, as a, as a group winner, I would simply give uh, City the best opportunity over here because I think it will be a cakewalk for them in this group. What's your take? Agreed. City is going to be one, but then again, two, three, and four is going to be a difficult call. Uh, Porto on their days, uh, they've been strengthening and uh, they've been uh, and also uh, people are leaving Porto. We've seen a lot of people come across, especially yeah. uh, crossing the borders and coming into the Premier League. Um, uh, and uh, we've got Olympiacos from the German, uh, uh, we've got uh, the Greek, uh, we've got uh, French Marseille. We don't know. Uh, it, it can be an either ball game. Uh, on their days, 90 minutes, you don't know. 180 minutes, home and away, it can, it can, it can take a toll on the team, especially with Champions League. The pressure is all ab- absolutely different than the league pressure. So I think Absolutely. two, three, and four. So what's your one answer? It's going to be fifty-fifty. So I believe you. You're going for one city, two. Which one you're going for? I may go. I, I I'll take a punt on this one. I might go Marseille. Marseille. I think I think and you Porto and goes three. This. Porto goes to the Europa. I, I think you and me both agree on the second one because uh, considering the last uh, season's form of the French sides, I think Marseille would be doing good. And, and at least reaching the round of 16, I, I feel that they have a great chance. In, in the third uh, stage, I, I would rate Olympiacos over Porto because I think Olympiacos has a history of uh, uh, being in this competition for so long and they, they, they are always on the hinges of uh, reaching the round of 16 as well. 
So I, I would I would say Olympiacos as number three. And then unfortunately for the Porto fans, I would I would be saying that Porto might finish last in this group. All right. So let's jump on to the group number four for the English champions. Yeah. It is yep. tough. I feel it is tough because you've got Ajax, you've got Atlanta, who's been performing brilliantly in the past two, three right. seasons in the Italian league. We've got right. we've got Midland. Uh, so what do you think, sister? Is I think I, I think I think I, I think I think uh, in terms of uh, the top two, it would be again. It's quite quite clear that it would be either between. Uh, Liverpool, Ajax, and Atlanta, because I really, with no disrespect to Michelin, but I, I really don't think that they stand a chance in this group because all the other three teams are much stronger than them. Uh, in terms of uh, qualifying for the round of 16, I would I would say it would be Liverpool and Ajax because uh, uh, Atlanta, yes, they performed exceptionally well last last time around, and they they really have been playing completely out of those out of their skins but uh, i would still say that liverpool and ajax have the pedigree and the entire experience of uh, progressing in this particular stage so i i would i would go for liverpool as the group winners and ajax uh, as the runners up what about you i agree with one slot i'll go with liverpool i agree it's going to be easy for them yeah. uh, i don't know easy yeah. or not but then uh, but then liverpool is the one who's going to be qualifying but then i right. will give atlanta uh, the 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 upper hand uh, in terms is it, of is it is this choice just because of the lack of uh, transfers which Ajax has done and all the kind of players they have they've sold out in the last transfer it's not that it's not it's not uh, completely because of that but then we all we all know the, the kind of brilliant football Ajax plays and exactly. uh, they deserve to be in Europe's elite uh, and and, exactly. and they they've rightly been there for 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 so many years I think I think uh, it is uh, their academy who's going to be shining again uh, this season, and there are going to be new names coming forward. Um, right. uh, post a lot of departures uh, in this uh, window as well as the previous windows as well, I think uh, Ajax will lack the experience uh, for the Champions League, but then they will perform. I think they'll perform pretty well in the Europa. Uh, so I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be Liverpool, Atlanta. Ajax and Vigitland as my one, two, three, four for group number D. What do you think? Okay. I think okay. I think seems that, seems, legit. seems seems legit because because uh, you and me just disagree on the second spot. So right. I, I I'm giving I'm giving the experience of Ajax to go through because uh, seeing Ajax over the over the years, I I personally think that the kind of football they play, I think it'll be it'll be. Uh, not just justice to, to this group or to football as, as general, but I, I personally feel that the experience matters, especially in this round, because uh, you you have you have to go to some places like Anfield, you have to go to the Amsterdam Arena, and these places would be rocking if at all the crowds are back. So if, even if they are not there, these 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 stadiums are quite imposing enough for any any uh, player from the opponent side. So I, I I would give them the chance. So you and me just disagree on the second spot and the third one automatically goes to the Europa. So unfortunately, Mitchell and doesn't doesn't stand a chance <laughs> in Absolutely. both of our discussion. I agree. Yeah. <clears throat> so moving forward to the to the next group, which is the group E, which has the current Europa champions and uh, I would say the uh, best team in the Europa history, I would say, uh, Sevilla FC. They, they just simply go into the Europa and they just simply kill it. They, they the second own, one is, they own this exactly. league. Invariably, exactly. they own this league. They see, it seems like that. Exactly. Exactly. The second one is uh, Chelsea, uh, the long, long time uh, English super, super, super powers. And the third one would be Krasnodar. And fourth is Standard Rene. So, this one, I personally would rate a, a, a very easy group for the two experienced sides. And it is quite easy to see Sevilla and Chelsea to qualify out of this group. However, I would be saying that it's not that easy to win this group. I would I would pit uh, Sevilla to win this group and Chelsea to come the runners-up over here. What about you? I, 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 I'll agree to a certain extent. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Chelsea does lack experience. Uh, they've been new. They've been a lot of signings coming in. They, they've been very. But at least you're seeing. At least you're seeing them qualify for the round of sixteen. Yes, right? absolutely. I see them qualifying from round of sixteen. That is no. There's no doubt about it. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I think. I think. Uh, I, I'll go the opposite way. Chelsea one and Sevilla two. Uh, uh, keeping in mind the kind of experienced uh, backline, especially not that so much. But then yeah, 
uh, with with uh, Thiago Silva being there and uh, and uh, we've got uh, Aspi over there. So I think uh, Chelsea will have a, a little upper hand and the kind of uh, uh, talent they've uh, bought in this season. I think that is going to be a very 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 incredible team to watch out even in the league. But then uh, let's see what comes out. But in the Champions League, I feel I, I feel Chelsea and Sevilla going one and two over Krasnodar okay. and uh, Rennes. And uh, for Europe, and I think uh, I think I think Rennes is going to be is going to be over Krasnodar. I, I think uh, I, I'm, I'm just going a bit different on the third one because I, I feel that Krasnodar being the first time entrance in the Champions League, I think they might uh, spring up a surprise. I am really putting them uh, over standard and air because I, I feel that the Krasnodar might pull in some sort of a surprise. They might draw some uh, uh, some game against uh, the top two in this group. I, I am actually giving uh, Krasnodar a better chance. So I would say Krasnodar to qualify for the Europa League. All right. So let's move on, sister. We've got uh, yeah. group number yeah. F. Uh, we've got yeah. Zenit, and we uh, we've got Zenit. Dortmund, Zenit. we've got Lazio, we've yep. got Club Bru. So what do you think? This one, I think, for Dortmund fans, should be very happy with this Absolutely. group because uh, I think I think uh, the kind of squad which Dortmund has, I think they should be expected to uh win this group quite quite easily and uh, not just quite easily i think well has well, I, I, really... I think they waltz through it they're going to waltz through it i I, I, th- I i think they they would i think they would but also we should not discount zenit because a couple of seasons ago zenit was uh, the only side to have won uh, 6 out of 6 in their group absolutely so i would i would say i would say uh, it would be dortmund 1 and uh, zenit 2 but again it it would be very hard to discount lazio and club bruges because uh, Club Bruges has a lot of experience in the Europa League, but yeah, I think uh, Champions League is a bit of a, a huge step forward. But Lazio, uh, it, it all depends upon the kind of league performance they have, because if you see Lazio's uh, performance over, over the past few years, uh, whenever they have performed really well in the league, uh, they, they have struggled in the in the European competition. So it's it's almost opposite for them. So Lazio, uh, I, I would still I would still say that they they might finish third in this. But I would say top two would be Dortmund and Zenit for sure. I agree to the for the first, I think first group which we've agreed uh, very very clearly up front it's going to yeah. be Dortmund and Zenit as one and two. But then the fight between yeah. three and four is going to be I I don't think so it can be it's a very thin line uh, between Lazio and Club Brugge. Um So I I I think I think Lazio might edge out uh, Club Brugge. Uh, yeah. so the experience the and the, and a more competitive league. I I think the competitive competitiveness of the league is going to come into play over here uh, rather than rather than the team i think the the, right. the italian league uh, over the the club bruges uh, thing is going to be is going to be very very uh, is going to be paying heavy on club bruges so lazio right. goes into right. europa for us right and dortmund wins it right absolutely yeah now, so we move on to the next one the g1 and this this one is pitting the Giants. Perhaps the best ever players, the best ever players of all time, Ronaldo and Messi against each other. So it's yes. Juventus and Barcelona, and in the same group along with uh, Dynamo Kiev. And uh, I'm sorry to not pronounce this correctly because I'm seeing them for the first time. It's Fenerbahce. I am not sure I'm pronouncing it correct, but I think I think uh, in terms of the top two, it has to be it has to be Juventus and uh, Barcelona because. Uh, th- there's no other chance for any other any other team in this group to even leapfrog them. I would say the group winner would be Juventus. I'm 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 going for Juventus one and Barcelona two, and uh, I think I think uh, for Europa it would be a tough tough call between between the both the rest of the clubs. How about you? I think uh, Juve, Juve Juventus and Barcelona are going to be one and two uh, likely as yeah. as it is there. Uh, they yeah. are qualifying. They are going to be there, but who goes? One who goes. So you 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 are saying? Uh, I I personally feel the way it is lined up right now. I think the uh, the state of the group would be the same after six games. I think uh, the order would be same. That's but that's, do, that's do you think? Do you think? Do you think the experience now with both the clubs having managers, uh, new managers? I'll put it across. We've got uh, Andre Pirlo. Yeah. Uh, the legend for Juventus, and then we've got uh, Ronald Koeman over there. 
in yeah. Barcelona. So, what do you think? Uh, will the experience of the managers come into play uh, in deciding one and two? I, I, I think, I think, uh, I, I, I would say that uh, right now, at least in this group stage, I think uh, the tactics won't <laughs> matter much because I think they, they, they should simply have a walkover against the other two teams between Juventus and Barcelona as a team, as a core of the squad. I feel that, uh, and especially the kind of experiences Barcelona have, have had over the past summer around the transfer fiasco and stuff, I, I feel that uh, Juventus is in better, better place and in a better shape to qualify as a group winner. But yeah, Barcelona, Messi, and Honest Day can really turn it on its head. So it could be either of them, but I personally would say that Juventus is going to win this group. I think I'm going to mark my calendars for Juventus versus Barcelona. What about you? Yeah, that's yeah, a that's a that's a no brainer. I think exactly, exactly. Both the both the legends are going to meet perhaps uh, the last time in this competition face to face because it's really look looks it really looks very hard uh, to see perhaps them meeting again for some, some say a final or something because I think both Juventus and Barcelona are weakened or perhaps not both of them can reach that stage of meeting again. So perhaps we, we might be seeing them for the last time and also with the age catching up, I think this could be a last time round. So yeah, definitely my calendar would be blocked just, just like yours. All right, then uh, Jeff, let's jump on to the last group. Uh, sister, I think the group of death. <laughs> this one, this that's, one. That's the one actually, we've been waiting to talk about. Uh, it's, it's, it's that's the, group the one. Death. This is this is the, the group, group of death. death. No doubt, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. This, yeah. is, this is actually uh, you can say made in Made in heaven or perhaps made in a made red in devil hell. hell. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can say you can say either of them, but but this one this one is going to be a classic. Uh, unfortunately for the fans of these clubs, I think they they won't won't have yes. wanted such a such a difficult start to the competition because whether it is PSG, whether it is Manchester United, whether it is Leipzig, or whether it is even Istanbul. Uh, you really don't want uh, to see the other three teams in your group stage, so you really don't want to see them. I, I, I think I think more than more than anything else, even the even us uh, even even the neutrals are going to enjoy uh, as as uh, it, it's going to be. But then I know the only thing which I feel bad about is that the fans are not going to be enjoying it in the stadium if, if the uh, pandemic still continues and fans not going. Yeah, to that's, be there. that's that's that's, uh, that's the, the atmosphere, a... even the atmosphere in PSG or Old Trafford or Germany in Leipzig or Istanbul, because we we all know Istanbul is crazy a football nation, and yeah. it's going to be yeah. if if and only if, if the fans are allowed. This is going to be a mouth-watering clash, even for all the three teams. Uh, PSG, United, Leipzig going to Istanbul. It's going to be a tough call, tough, tough call. Even exactly, exactly. And, I don't think and so. And I, 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 I think so. You and I will agree in this point that it's going to be a difficult, difficult group to decide who's going to be one, two, three, and four, because on that day it's yeah, going yeah. to be on that day either team can uh, can win and can qualify. It yeah, is going to be a very, very difficult group to. I think terming it as group of death, group of hell. It's it's anything, it's good. anything, it anything can be does anything. justice to it. You cannot yeah. do justice yeah. by just giving it a name. So let's come on to and, and also and also like like uh, since you mentioned mentioned about Istanbul, so I could recollect that uh, a couple of seasons ago they met uh, Spurs, and uh, I I could I could I actually watched that game and it was like the section of the Istanbul crowd they were one section was uh, chanting Tottenham Hotspurs and the other section was abusing them. So. One section was saying Tottenham Hotspurs, and the other section was using an abusive word. So that kind of a crowd is there. That kind of a emotion is there, and it's really not a nice place to go. It's really, and especially, I think, I think this might be going in the favor of the other other three teams because if at all uh, the crowds are not back because of the COVID situation, I think it would be easier for the other three sides to play against Istanbul, especially in Turkey, because I feel that uh, Istanbul has their 12th man as they crowd because definitely Absolutely. that 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 particular stadium is roaring whenever these these teams play so, so i think i think, I think it's going to be it will be an advantage for all the if either of the teams I think. going away first because right now with the pandemic exactly. and, and crowds not exactly. being there i think istanbul is going to be a destination you want to be in uh, going exactly. and finishing it off and asking them to come to your home ground that's going to be a better option rather than going in later maybe if, if the situation changes even 2500 think, or 2000 fans are going to be very difficult to manage it's going to be very difficult. I, 
I, I think sister, I think I think I, I would agree definitely on your point because uh, everybody would want to go to Istanbul first. But also, I would say that uh, right now, considering the situation, I really don't think that uh, uh, a lot of people would be allowed to gather into the stadium. So, in any case, I think it's it's easier for the other three squads. But still, if I have to give a uh, give some sort of a prediction, my prediction for this this group, it, it's it's very tricky. Trust me, it is very tricky. You, uh, firstly, it's very tricky to even uh, decide for the top two. And then let let alone decide the winner of this group. But but I personally feel that uh, uh, the team which is going to miss out uh, in the in the group of sixteen uh, round of sixteen, I think it's going to be Leipzig. What about you? I am still I am still contemplating. I am still contemplating. I don't know. Uh, PSG. We've got United. We've got Leipzig. Uh, no, but but we have to we have to we have to we have to uh, just give a, give some sort of a prediction, uh, sister, because that's what that's what makes it in- interesting. Because when we are going to come back for the round of sixteen uh, uh, round of uh, fixtures, then we can at least uh, decide upon like what was what was the percentage uh, of our score. prediction. Uh, who, what was our yeah, score exactly. in terms of exactly. Uh, exactly. I think exactly. I think I I think what's your Leipzig, top two? What's your top I, two? I I think Leipzig might edge United. But then uh, okay. uh, I, I, I'll give uh, PSG and Leipzig as one and two, and United going to the Europa. Just on the okay. fact, just on the fact that United sometimes are a little slow to start off from the block, and yeah. also another thing which I, I have uh, is the lack of transfer activities for United might come back and bite them uh, later on in the season. So it's mm-hmm. I, I think I think. Uh, United being, uh, uh, I think one and two is going to be PSG, Leipzig, and United going to Europa. But then it can change. Okay. I, so I, think, been, I think my been, heart, my heart this is what my brain says. I think my heart says PSG and United and Leipzig going number ten. So I don't know which which one to go with. So I think I think I'll go with my heart over my brain and I'll go with PSG and United one and two, uh, and Leipzig. So going. you're saying PSG? You're saying PSG to win the group? Yes, I'm saying PSG to win the group. United coming number two. Right. So you're saying United number two. You're saying Leipzig number two. I say my brain says Leipzig number two. My heart says you United number me, two. You have to give me one. You have to give uh, me so one. I, that's what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. I, I I think I'll I'll, I'll put in. Uh, it's 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 you know it, 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 you understand the emotions coming out. It is going to be very difficult to judge this one. It, it is all the four games are going to be mouth watering late nights. I don't. I don't think so. I can, uh, but then PSG and United. I think my final two. I'll go with that. So PSG is winning the group, and United is coming around the. Yes, I'll give that. I'll give that, and I'll give I'll give Leipzig the benefit of going into Europa. Fingers crossed, they might edge uh, United. So I'm going to take a slash over there and put a star, and say United and Leipzig. When we come back, I'm going to say, see, I told you, I said, I told said both the teams. So I'm going to take that win from you. <laughs> I, think, I think we are discounting Istanbul here because Istanbul can also spring up a surprise. So we, we are we, we discounting we them mistake. Now, it, might, yeah. it might be yeah. Istanbul in the Europas as well. Uh, but then uh, not to discount Istanbul uh, and uh, uh, apologies to the Istanbul fan. But I think uh, Istanbul will, it, they, they might come number three and play Europa, uh, but then coming one and two is going to be a little difficult. Seeing, stating the fact that the top three teams are right now in their, in their flow and in the top form. Right. Right. So you and me both have agreed on the fourth one. So uh, the first two you have said uh, uh, PSG and United. And uh, uh, so, so are you going with your heart or brain? So is it like United second or Leipzig second? Like I said, it's going to be United second with a star and putting a slash and putting Leipzig number okay. two. <laughs> right. Excuse me, because I don't think so I can make a I, I I don't think so I can make a differential over here, uh, because all the three teams. Then it is a very very tough call for us fans uh, watching it and the pundits all together. It's going to be a very very tough call. I think uh, uh, anybody and everybody is going to agree that on the day either team can be up and the other team can be down. But then I think PSG and United might edge, uh, have a major edge over Leipzig with the amount of experience, uh, experience in the squad, and the experience on the bench. I think that is what's going to edge them, edge them forward. 
So mind one and so two, I'll, mental I'll, one and two is going to be PSG uh, and United. Okay, so I'll I'll bring out my one and two, and uh, this might be a bit of a surprise uh, because considering some of the news which I'm getting, uh, there are there are some of the transfer talks which are happening in the background. It it's been happening for so long, but I am going for a again. This is a, this is a big call which I might which I might have to uh, really take my words back. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to make this point. One uh, as a group winner is going to be Manchester United, and two it's going to be PSG. That's my one and two, and the reason behind it is because yes, Leipzig has performed brilliantly over the past uh, you can see couple of seasons, especially last season. But I personally feel that uh, both United and PSG have the strength to counter them and uh, qualify out of this group. And as a winner of this group, just because of the, out of certain certain section of the news which I'm getting around the transfer market, and those 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 particular stuff will actually propel United to even winning this particular group. Well, let's so keep that it, hidden. It let's is, keep that hidden from the exactly, fact because exactly. we want to. We yeah. want. We want everybody coming back for the fifth exactly. episode where we might exactly. be discussing. We might be discussing. Let me put it across. We might be discussing some incoming news which Sister has with the yes. transfers happening and in the last exactly. three four days which we have. I think that's going to be exactly. a very very interesting aspect we have to look at. Uh, and like everybody knows, fifth uh, of October. Uh, so fifth of October is the transfer window closing. So I think we're going yeah. to be back before that. And post and that. And just to just to just to add add to that also. So fifth of October is the European market closing, and sixteenth of October is the English market closing. So, Absolutely. Uh, so still, still, if if teams, if the clubs, they can't make some some of their transfer business by fifth of October, they can still do their individual league or league business later than that also. Absolutely. So yeah, we'll be back with those with those uh, with those updates. Burning and, news. Uh, as of now, I'll, I'll put it around. Yeah, burning news, piping hot. Yeah, off definitely, the goal. Definitely. Onto your systems and let's yep. uh, close this. Uh, I think, sister, we've got we've got our top eight. Uh, sorry, top sixteen. I think. Uh, top top sixteen. Yes. Top and, sixteen uh, individually we'll and. Be, uh, I'll, we'll I'll, make a, the, I'll make a with call. With the second let's, part of. With the with the second part of this video, when the round of sixteen draw is going to happen, absolutely. I think I think, I think let's make a, let's make we let's there. make it even more interesting, sister. Let's let's have a bet. The maximum yeah. number of teams among our own group. How many do you think? Sixteen for me and sixteen for you. Which we, how, how many do you think are going to be correct? Let's give a fans something to look forward. I think I think I think in terms of uh, the top two, which we have decided, I think. Uh, I think I would say for you, I, I, I could only see there were a couple of uh, th- couple of uh, situations wherein you chose a bit different than what, what I chose. So it was like more or less it was one of the same choices which we made. But I think out of 16, I would still say that at least 12, I think we might we might get it. Correct. We might get 12, in correct? Terms, yeah. In terms, of, in terms of the order, it is very tough to say because obviously the kind of kind of strength the we, we have it's a, it's, a, it's a buffet yeah. it's a buffet of teams we have exactly <laughs> it's very difficult to pick up on on talk of the buffet i am hungry sister i think you are as well so let's so i am off yeah. for my dinner so let's let's, yeah, let's wrap it up for the fans and thank you for tuning sure. in thank you for tuning in for episode number 4 we are going to be and back with five i can subscribe and uh, like share and subscribe and and sure. meet you guys soon hopefully on the 4th or the 5th with episode number 5 and 6. So watch out this space and we are going to be back. Thank you. Adios. Bye, sister. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.